Okay, so after you've found yourself in a muddy hole or in a snow bank, and you have your emergency kit, you take your toe strap and a connecting device. In this case, we have a shackle. And you're gonna come down under the front or rear corner of your vehicle. So in this case, we have a Subaru Forester. These don't normally go in the ditch. However, they're a typical all wheel drive, front wheel drive setup with the pitfalls that you do not want to attach to. So we're gonna take our shackle and we are going to place it through the end loop of the toe strap. And we're gonna reach down and look for something to hook onto. So right here we have a sway bar and that is not designed to be pulled forward on. It actually transfers force laterally across the vehicle from one wheel to the other. Right here, we have a steering linkage, and that actually is something that if you bend, you will need an, an alignment. And right here, we have your CV axle, and that transfers the rotating force from the transmission to the wheel. None of this we want to hook our shackle to. If we do, we will bend crucial parts and your vehicle will need an alignment or may be severely damaged in other ways. What we're gonna want to come and attach to is gonna be further forward on the frame, if it's a full frame vehicle, or there's going to be these little loops attached to the unibody structure. Right here on the front, there is a little loop, and on a lot of vehicles, if you do anything off of paved roads, they may be slightly bent over. That's why a shackle's nice, because it's just a pin that you can put through a very bent um, loop, whereas if it's a hook, it may sometimes not fit any longer. So right now, we're gonna hook it through, put the pin through the loop on the vehicle, and you wanna thread it until it's tight, and then go back off a little bit. Otherwise, the force transferred by yanking this out may slightly deform the shackle and you'll never get that pin back out. Okay, we are ready to yank this vehicle. All right, now that we are completely connected to both vehicles, it's time to do the towing process. One important thing with towing a, a car out of the ditch is to make sure not to yank on anything. That can bend the frame and do damage to both cars. So when everything is set up, you can slowly pull the tow strap tight until there's good tension. Just like that. Now, once there's tension, you can communicate with the other driver and tow the car forward out of the ditch. Make sure the other driver doesn't hit you. Here's an example of how not to tow a car out. That probably just broke the frame of my vehicle. <laughs> and damaged the other vehicle because the driver of the towed vehicle was not paying attention and ran directly into the front of the other vehicle. This could cause body damage. 